Good morning. When should the prophets be questioned? Today we're looking at Jeremiah 5 verses 30 and 31. An astonishing and horrible thing has been committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests rule by their own power, and my people love to have it so. But what will you do in the end? So here's a case where the prophets are no longer prophets. That is to say, the prophets are not prophesying faithfully the things that God is giving them to say because God is not giving them things to say. The prophets as a group have become unfaithful. So what are they doing? They're making these short-term, let's be happy, you know, pronouncements. There's kind of a strange collusion between the priests and the prophets as they're just, uh, their own agendas are being served by for the priests listening to the prophets, from the prophets uh, giving these false messages to the priests. You know, things look kind of grim around out there, but don't worry about it. We're telling you everything is fine, and, and the people were inclined to want it to be fine. And so uh, these are God's priests. These are God's prophets. So we, we just go right along with the plan there. Today, I think we have something similar to this in the way the media and the political things more or less fit together. There's a lot of uh, give and take. There's a lot of things that work out to match agendas that the different groups have. So this isn't anything really new. It goes back to Jeremiah's time, and I'm sure before that. So rather than acting as God designed it, you know, here for Israel, you have the prophets and the priests and the princes, and, the, and they're all take, safeguarding society, taking care of things in their own uh, sections. Uh, you don't have that. You have sort of a crossing the lines. Everything is is working out to, to certain ends that are not God's ends. Rather than working for the good of God's people, you have this sort of mutual corruption going on, which is just uh, degenerating society quite dramatically. Prophets are to be tested by the word of God. Uh, we're not just told to just listen to the prophets and just stand in a line when they say to stand in a line and, and do what they say when they say to do what they, they say. We're told to test the prophets. We're told to prove all things in the Bible, hold on to the things that are good. And so the prophets are to be tested. If we have a legitimate current prophecy, we're to test it by uh, previous prophecies. And if, if there's a match, then you might have a, a legitimate current prophecy too. But we shouldn't just accept at random that, oh, everything is fine. It just It's just fine the way it's always been. It may not be the way it's always been. Certainly wasn't in Jeremiah's day. Instead of seeking for spiritual excellence, and the high spiritual higher ground, uh, we tend to degenerate and adopt things in from the world and things that are coming from different sides. That's where we tend to be. So God says, well, yes, my people love to have it so. But then he asks this, this heart-rending question, but what will you do in the end? What will you do in the end? You know, there's always a reckoning. There comes a time when things come to a completion. There comes a time when the consequences come home to roost. And so what will you do in the end? I think that's a very, very, uh, very close, spot-on question. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, may we not love to have it so. Lord, may we be seeking to come closer to you. May we not be satisfied with a uh, generic kind of experience, uh, anticipated spiritual experience. May we seek for things higher, things deeper, things more true to the word, things that are more cut, cutting closer, Lord. May we seek to draw closer to Jesus. May we seek to understand your will better, Lord. You have a quite a plan on, you know, to revive and save as many as possible off of planet Earth as, as you can. It's kind of Noah's Ark time again, uh, only we're at the very end of time. And we're part of the crew that's supposed to faithfully give the message. So please, Lord, help us. Help us each one. Help us to rise above the mediocrity of our age. Help us not to contribute to it. Help us to kindly, but, but firmly, help, help each one to come up higher. Lord, you help us, please, to come up higher. We ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. So what about the prophets? We need to test the prophets. Test them by the Bible. Hold, hold on to the things that are true to the scriptures. And don't let the prophets, the priests, the kings, and so on, don't let them just get away with stuff. Have a wonderful day being a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ.